let's now move. Brian, we've been talking about going golfing, right? Here's the place. Here is the place. Are we going to do it this week? I guess we have to. The temp warm and dry. Right. Just what we do here. Right. Perfect for golfing. Standing tea time this week. Morning tea time. Oh, here we go. Well, this is on the plan. And somebody here took a photo in Murray Parkway. This is hole number one. I found many balls in this pond here throughout the years. But good week to schedule those tea times. Here for the rest of the evening, though, you definitely have to keep your eye to the skies. We do see a possibility of some isolated thunderstorms coming through the region, at least for northern Utah. Front moving in, starting to see its impact here, at least in St. George. Winds picking up, changing the wind direction out of the west as we're looking at temperatures. Still, though, ahead of this front, quite warm. And you're not going to see much of an impact temperature-wise in St. George moving ahead. No, we're going to be warming things up. But we did see slightly cooler temperatures here across northern Utah. Clouds earlier on, we're seeing the sunshine. However, we look off towards the west. Another line of showers and some thunderstorms potentially having an impact here across portions of northern Utah. But that's for tonight. <clears throat> These showers will quickly move on. Still having an impact across eastern Utah come tomorrow. But once we get past the threat here for this evening across northern Utah, we're good to go. Washing our car, no issues. Mother Nature not bringing any unsettled weather, even to dirty up your car. Wish we could see more rain in the forecast. We need some help, of course, with our drought situation to water our lawns and our gardens. For some of us, though, that might be a chance here. This line of thunderstorms now developing, kind of get a resurgence here, pushing through Box Elk County, <clears throat> where they'll make their move here mainly the northern end of the Wasatch Front, up through, again, northern Box Elder County, Cache County, Ridge County, but as far south through the Salt Lake Valley, we might see a brief threat of some isolated thunderstorms that will be pushing through, kind of in the 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock range, and then a slight chance overnight as well. But high pressure thereafter will build in. This will bring the heat and keep conditions dry as we look for the upcoming work week. This front moving in, as mentioned, showers will develop, sweep through here across northern Utah in the overnight hours. It kind of stalls out, though, a little bit through Utah County come tomorrow, where we could potentially see some showers uh, through Utah County, down through Nephi briefly. Then it moves eastward, as we're, excuse me, as we're going to bring in some clouds as we move Monday into Tuesday. And then we'll bring the heat there as temperatures will quickly climb. But for tonight, overnight lows in the upper 50s to low 60s here across northern Utah, 50s through central Utah, 68 degrees expected low for St. George. Tomorrow for the north, it's actually a little bit cooler, slightly below average. It's mid to upper 70s. Central Utah, it's 80s. But look towards southern Utah as we're going to be seeing upper 90s. Now overnight, that threat of showers again briefly for northern Utah. Also through Cedar City, we might see early morning hours, a possibility of some brief rain showers as well. Now for St. George, it's dry, it's hot and sunny. 102, 103 to 106 by the weekend. Again, no impact for any storms moving through the region here for the next several days. And that's the same situation here across northern Utah. You've got 70s back into the 80s, quickly pushing through to the 90s, then mid 90s by the weekend.